All right, so I'm going to do a quick video for you on how to tape your feet for running long distances. So just a quick background, I'm on 70 plus marathons. As you can see, I'm a little bit more of a heavy set guy, not quite the uh, normal fit person that you would see running a lot of marathons. So basically, I've got a lot of experience in trying to prevent injuries on long distance runs. So why would you want to tape your feet? You know, there's some injuries that you can't really help, like uh, getting blisters on the front of your feet from different terrains on long distance runs. But as far as getting blisters on the bottoms of your feet, that's something that you could really uh, prevent with good foot taping. So basically, uh, you want to uh, tape your feet for more of dry runs rather than wet runs. If you're planning on getting your feet wet, I would suggest using a good lubricant on your feet rather than taping your feet because when your feet get wet, when the liquid gets into your shoes, then it makes that tape come loose a little bit. So uh, basically I'm going to run you through how to uh, tape your feet. So first thing that you want to do is that you want to have a good tape. I use this uh, Luca tape for uh, taping my feet and then also you want a good uh, good lubricant for your toes as well. So I use trail toes. You don't want to uh, tape your toes because if that tape rips it's going to tape take your skin with it. Uh, I've experienced this one time uh, last year where I taped my toes. I was still early in the uh, taping experimentation and of course it rained and the tape got weakened and it loosened up just enough so it came loose and I basically lost the entire skin on my pinky toe on that race and had to drop out about 50 miles into a 62 mile race. So. Uh, yeah, moisture not good with the tape. I uh, didn't quite know that back then. So, anyway, so I'm going to go into the uh, taping operations. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to start off with your tape. If you're not traveling by air, you can take a pair of scissors to cut your tape with. Kind of makes it a little bit easier. Uh, also, if you're not traveling by air, I would recommend using a adhesive spray to help the tape stick to your feet. This might help combat some of the moisture issues. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm taping the hot spots on my feet. Uh, if you've ran a little bit and you've got a little experience running any what longer distances, you know some spots get a little bit more sore during your run. These are the areas that you want to tape up. Basically what this tape is doing is it's forming a exterior layer of skin that's going to take some of the beating from the uh, the friction during your run so that's going to block the blisters you want to make sure that you get good coverage though because if you don't cover every single spot the spot that's not covered is very likely to blister up so for me my hot spots are the arches of the feet and then the balls of the feet I don't really mess with heels, but if you have a hot spot on your heels, that would be something that you would want to tape as well. And a lot of people would also tape the backs of the feet. So see, I've got the tape set up on the arch. Try to get as few creases as possible. And basically what I'm going to do is I tape it in and then I rub it a little bit to warm up those adhesives in the tape and get it to conform a little bit better. Alright, now for the arch, you gotta get in there a little bit and you might have to do a little bit more taping on the top areas with smaller pieces of tape because that's a spot that will blister if not covered. So with the tape around the foot you don't want it to go across the top of the foot because that will cut off circulation. So just do it on the bottoms of the feet. Alright, so got a smaller piece of tape here. 
the goal is to cover up as much of the pad of your foot as possible because it's the undersides of your feet where it's striking the ground that are going to blister up. So if you got your outer arches as hot spots as well, you can tape those too. I'm not going to tape those this morning. and Hopefully I won't have any issues there. It's uh, largely dependent also on your running style and what types of shoes you wear. So after I've gotten a good tape, what I'm going to do next is basically use the lube that you would use under wet weather. I'm going to use that on my toes. And you just want to go crazy. Don't be stingy on this lube because this is what's going to help prevent the blisters on your toes, between your toes, and then in the front of the toes. And also maybe as long as you've got big enough shoes, prevent you from losing some toenails during your long distance run. So apply the lubrication pretty generously, especially between your toes. You want to make sure that you uh, trim your toenails too so you're going to have the toenail scratching the other toe during the run because that will cause problems as well. So basically your goal here is to avoid friction. So then after that, once you've gotten that set up, you want to take a good uh, anti-friction sock. You can find these on Amazon, you know, blister resistant socks, and put that on over top of your tape. If you've got enough room in your shoe, maybe put on a second pair to uh, help with the impact. In this case, I'm just going to be going with the one sock. And... And the last thing you want to do is you want to put a little powder into your shoe to uh, help absorb some of the moisture. And there you have, that is how you would uh, tape your feet in the case that you're not running something that's going to be taking you through a lot of uh, water or a lot of rain and things of that nature. All right, so let's see what's up with these feet. All right, so on the right foot, peel this back. Don't go too fast. You don't want to rip off any skin that was loose before you put the tape on. All right, so we got the tape off. And looking at the feet, not seeing any particular uh, really white areas, which is an indicator of future blisters. So it's looking like the right foot did pretty well with the tape. It's a pretty dry run out there today, so that's to be expected. Alright, so looking at the left foot, looks pretty good as far as blisters. I do have a little bit of raised skin here, so that was probably some skin that was uh, not doing so great before the run, and the tape just aggravated it, but good news is no blisters. So then checking the toes. I know toes look pretty rough, but... They looked that way before the marathon, so it doesn't look like I've got any toenails, any more toenails anyway coming off, so looking pretty good. Alright, so benefits of taping your feet for long runs, you're less likely to get blisters.